But although he had been appointed to govern the people, he did not rule his own household. Eli was an indulgent father. Loving peace and ease, he did not exercise his authority to correct the evil habits and passions of his children. Without weighing the terrible consequences that would follow his course, he indulged his children in whatever they desired and neglected the work of fitting them for the service of God and the duties of life. A lot of times we may come across people that do things that are questionable or they're going down a path that seems uh, not right or a path that would lead to destruction. And a lot of times because we love ease and we love peace and we don't want to rock the boat in any way, we don't say anything to them and we just hope that God will speak to them or maybe God would convict them of these sins or these things that they're doing. The sons of Eli were completely wicked and they're doing all sorts of terrible things in the temple of God and as a result there was a lot of great evil that followed in Israel. A lot of this was largely attributable to Eli's failure to discipline his kids and correct them in the way that they should go. When interacting with our friends and family and loved ones, we just want to get along with everyone so we don't want to say a single thing, but the fact of the matter is, if we truly love them and we really want to see them in the kingdom, then we would correct them and we would rebuke them. Of course, we need to do this in a very loving manner and we have no right to rebuke someone unless we truly have love for them and are desiring their best good. Don't be afraid to tell someone what God has placed on your heart. Just like in Revelation chapter 3, verse 19, it says that the Lord rebukes those whom He loves and He chastens them. And in the same way, we should do the same to our brothers and sisters in Christ if we feel that they're going in a certain way that might be dangerous. Uh, I hope this was a blessing to you and I hope you have a great rest of your day.